My name is Mike Serenjoj, uh, a master's student uh, from Iowa State University, working with Dr. Kauban, uh, Dr. Thomas Broom, as well as Dr. Doug Meyer. Our research determines the best time interval to suppress maize weevils in infested maize subjected to physical disturbance. Think of physical disturbance as agitation or tumbling or movement of the stored grain, but in the way of controlling multiplication of grain storage insect pests. So in the United States, we call maize corn, but it's all the same. Uh, despite the global importance of maize, the vigorous challenge of maize storage in the tropical countries is toward grain insect pests like maize weevils, which contribute up to 80% losses of untreated stored maize, um, accounting to more than 4 billion US dollars uh, in losses. Infestation by maize weevils uh, starts from the field and it continues right away in storage. So in the first picture, you can see the maize weevil and uh, its mandibles. Uh, so the female weevil uses these mandibles to make a hole in the kernel, lays an egg there, seals it, and moves on to the next kernel. And in her lifetime, one female weevil lays up to 200 eggs. So in this video, you can see the aggressiveness of the maize weevils. The video may uh, seem jerky um, if your bandwidth is low. But as eggs hatch in two larvae, pupae, and adult stages, uh, they feed on the endosperm in the kernel, uh, leaving it empty as adult weevils exit the holes, uh, as you can see in the, and in, in the picture three. So this lowers the maize dry matter weight, as well as uh, its nutritional and economic values. So physical disturbance works by limiting contact between the maize weevils and the kernels, uh, which makes it hard for the weevils to lay their eggs. Uh, this approach is affordable and simple uh, uh, by smallholder farmers because the main input is the knowledge and energy for disturbance. Uh, also, disturbance leaves no chemical residues in the grains. Physical disturbance is actually not new because in 1963, uh, Joffe and Clark disturbed jars of infested maize daily, and in their study, they achieved 89% suppression of uh, Staphylococcus aureus, also known as the rice weevil. Another study which was done in Michigan, um, Quentin uh, disturbed jars and sacks of infested maize, infested beans every eight hours, and he achieved 97% uh, suppression of the common bean weevil. Uh, in our research group at Iowa State University, uh, in 2014, BOSA uh, disturbed recyclable, uh, these are the recyclable plastic coffee containers, every 12 hours, um, achieving 93% suppression uh, of maize weevils. Uh, recently in Tanzania, Suleiman worked with uh, local farmers to disturb 20 liter jerry cans of infested maize uh, twice a day, and he achieved 96% suppression of maize weevils. So with this in mind, we had two research questions. Uh, one was, can we automate physical disturbance systems uh, since previous uh, disturbances were manually performed? Hence, our first objective uh, designed, constructed, and tested automated physical disturbance machines that were programmable uh, to rotate grain samples at any disturbance uh, time interval. Uh, the second research question was, um, what is the best time interval to disturb infested maize and control maize weevils? Uh, since we have seen also that previous researchers used any disturbance interval uh, they thought was suitable. So our objective number two, uh, determine the best time interval uh, that controlled maize weevils while maintaining the quality of the stored maize. So starting with the first objective, uh, this picture shows different parts of the disturbance machine. Uh, the goal here was to design and build a machine that uh, supported and rotated uh, 12 3.8 liter plastic um, jars with wooden buffers, as you can see in the picture. Um, so jars were loaded with maize and one kilogram, I mean, jars were loaded with maize weevils and one kilogram of maize. Uh, screens were placed between the top face of the lids and the holes um, of the wooden discs, as you can see, uh, uh, for air exchange inside the jars. And a single phase shaded uh, pore SCGR motor achieved 1.25 revolutions in three seconds. So, uh, the speed was chosen based on the manual physical disturbance um, experiment, which was performed by Bossa in 2014, uh, turning plastic uh, coffee containers uh, with infested maize every 12 hours. Uh, the motor control used the solid state reader, and the code uh, to automate the machines was written in Microsoft um, Visual Basic. 
So we, uh, we are able to build three machines. Um, and in our study, um, we, we had disturbance intervals in mind of age 12 um, and 24 hour uh, disturbance intervals. Uh, that, that is for the three machines. So for the second objective, um, one kilogram of maize and 25 adult maize weevils um, in 1.9 liter non hematic glass jars, uh, which had screens uh, covering the cutout holes uh, of the lids, were allowed to reproduce and disturb uh, for one life cycle, that is uh, 40 days, in a chamber which was maintained at 65% uh, percent relative humidity and 27 uh, degrees Celsius. So this uh, simulated the invasion of mature maize in the field by adult maize weevils and the pre-emergent stages uh, that get carried along uh, with the maize kernels into storage structures. Um, so uh, after 40 days, maize and the weevils were gently transferred into the 3.8 liter plastic jars uh, with wooden buffers, uh, which were used on the disturbance machines. And the experiment had four treatments where there was no disturbance and uh, age 12 and 24 hours for the, uh, for the three disturbance machines. And we had uh, three replicates uh, per treatment. Uh, so we had a total of 12 jars per treatment. And um, uh, we had five sampling time initially uh, before treatments were applied. And uh, every after 40 days uh, when the treatments were applied until 160 days of storage. So uh, the machines were laid on metallic racks um, in a chamber, uh, which was at 27 degrees Celsius and 70% uh, uh, relative humidity. And we set it at 12 hour for the light and dark phases. The undisturbed jars were laid just under these racks uh, on a flat raised wooden platform, uh, but uh, resting on the floor, um, but not touching the racks uh, because we wanted to eliminate vibrations from the disturbance machines to the stationary jars. Um, we, we followed the United States Department of Agriculture uh, protocol for grain uh, grading. So after picking samples from the, from the treatments, um, we sieved the, uh, the maize and the, and the, and the weavers uh, through the 12, 64 inch sieves and the weavers were, co were collected on a pan and counted. And also, um, uh, for the large numbers of live maize weavers from undisturbed jars uh, after 40 days of the experiment, uh, we calculated weaver numbers based on the, on the weight. Um, so after that, uh, for the grain grading, we went ahead to uh, determine the moisture content of the, of the maize using the gap moisture meter, uh, the test weight, um, uh, looking at the density of the maize, as well as the broken corn and fine material using the cutter dead dockage tester machine, and then lastly, um, determine the insect damage and more damage using the, uh, the, the grain grading charts. So for the results and discussion, um, for all the graphs uh, we are going to see, the green color uh, represents the undisturbed jars, and then uh, the eight hour, 12 hour, and 24 hour disturbance intervals are, are shown by the orange, uh, blue, and pink colors. The numbers below the bars uh, for each sampling time uh, show uh, the means from each treatment. So by allowing weavers to go through one life cycle uh, to simulate weavers carried into storage with maize, their uh, population per jar increased from 25 weavers to 234 uh, live weavers at the start of the experiment. Uh, live maize weavers in the undisturbed jars increased exponentially after 40 days and achieved a 34-fold increase at 120 days of May storage. Uh, this was expected since uh, their oviposition rate and access to food was not altered. So oviposition means the rate at which weevils lay eggs. Uh, therefore, beyond 80 days, uh, live maize weevils in the undisturbed jars uh, remained similar, but significantly different with um, live maize weevils at 40 days of May storage. Uh, from here onwards, uh, means which are not followed by the same lower case letter um, are significantly different at the 5% significant level. So at the start of the data analysis, samples from the 12 hour disturbance interval at 120 days and one sample um, at 160 days were excluded from um, the general data analysis because of their large variability with no agreement 
among live maize weevils. So previous researchers have also stated that the sensitivity to disturbance of the pre-emergent stages of weevils tend to vary. Uh, probably this accounted for the anomalies in the live maize weevils um, uh, from a particular disturbance interval, uh, in this case, the 12-hour disturbance interval for our experiment. Um, however, the eight-hour disturbance interval had the highest number of live maize weevils, uh, which was significantly different with other disturbance intervals um, at the end of the storage period. Uh, we speculate that uh, frequent disturbances actually uh, stimulated the oviposition rate of maize weevils. Uh, populations of weevils uh, from 12-hour and 24-hour disturbance interval at the end of the experiment were similar uh, to weaver populations at the start of the experiment. However, the 24-hour disturbance interval uh, maintained the lowest number of live weavers uh, throughout the experiment. Um, though we did not achieve 100% uh, mortality of maize weevil uh, suppression, I mean, though we did not achieve 100% uh, maize weevil suppression, uh, live weavers uh, were reduced by 75% for eight hour, uh, 95% uh, for the 12 hour, and 94% for the 24 hour interval as compared to the undisturbed jars at the end of the storage period. Um, our results actually show the potential of disturbance to control uh, the multiplication of uh, maize weavers in, um, in stored maize. So in conclusion, uh, disturbance effectively reduced live, weaver, live maize weaver populations uh, by 75%, 95%, and 94% for the age 12 and 12 for the age 12 and 24 hour intervals respectively. And um, disturbed jars had higher test weight, uniform moisture content, and lower uh, broken corn and fine material, and uh, lower insect damage and mold damage at the end of the storage period. And the 24 hour disturbance interval showed the potential as a non-chemical approach uh, to control weevils infestation in stored maize. Uh, for the future work, we recommend that uh, the 24-hour disturbance interval should be implemented and tested uh, with the storage capacities of smallholder farmers. And also the 24-hour disturbance interval uh, should be investigated on other insect species apart from maize weevils, as well as uh, different types of grains. And um, disturbance intervals uh, longer than 24 hours should be investigated because in this study, 24-hour proved effective, so longer um, intervals should be investigated. Um, I would like to acknowledge the Sukup Manufacturing Company of Sheffield, Iowa uh, for their gift uh, to support this research. Thank you.